This is not the healthy one. This is French. That's why we're having to do it first, and then we have the bananas after. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by uh, browning some butter, and we're basically sautéing bananas. This is uh, another little five-minute recipe, and everybody, I'm sure, has seen flambe, which basically means that you're burning alcohol. Uh, you, you set the pan on fire. So I'm going to go ahead and get this this, this, this butter reduced or butter melted down real fast. How much butter this was is, that? Uh, this is a fun dessert to have uh, as a side dish. Or you guys could serve it over uh, crepes or pancakes or... Um, what else is it? You serve it? You serve it right next to your five-minute ice cream, too. Basically, we're looking for enough butter to cover the bottom of the pan. So, Thank you. we're making a large recipe right here. So, mm. while we're doing that, some bananas right there. I'm going to just cut them up into bite sized pieces. Five-minute ice cream, and once again, five-minute ice cream can be five-minute frozen yogurt or, um, yeah, five-minute frozen yogurt. Uh, I made one back there yesterday. I put it in the uh, freezer, so it's set up a little bit more overnight. When you're going to do it in the blender like this, it's, yeah, once again, it takes two minutes in the blender, so really it's two minutes ice cream, three minutes of uh, prep time. Um, it's going to come out as a soft serve. If you like it a little bit, uh, a, a little bit more stiff, go ahead and throw it in the freezer until uh, until you get to your uh, desired consistency. So what we're going to want to do, that's working right there. We're going to start with two thirds cup uh, heavy cream. Now, once again, you can substitute non-fat milk, non-fat yogurt, or that nice yogurt that you have right there as well. I did step on it. You're going to put in one cup of sugar. Also, if you don't want to use sugar, you can also use your equal, your, your uh, agave nectar, mm. your honey, whatever sweetener that you guys choose to do. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and get that sugar dissolved. That is about two tablespoons of vanilla extract. So, any, uh, in, any ice cream that you make is pretty much going to have that same, uh, same beginning step to it. Um, you're basically making vanilla cream right here. Um, a, 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 traditional, um, a, a, a traditional ice cream is going to have eggs in it, and it's going to be stirred and aerated and uh, lightly whipped. Right here, we're, we're, we're kind of doing this uh, without the raw egg, without, without, the, without the cooking and tempering of that. So 
Right now we've got a pretty much our sugar dissolved. You guys can see that it's it's relatively thin. And in order to get it to set up, you guys can just throw it in the freezer. But if you guys have a little piece of shortcake or whatever that you guys have, this is a great way to do uh, your strawberry shortcake. Put your shortcake down, put your frozen mixture down, throw a couple strawberries and hit it with whipped cream. It's going to be a fantastic dessert. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get to taste that one. This one is pretty much done. I'm going to go ahead and give this a taste. I'm not a sweet fan, but that's delicious. All right, so. Right there, I'll get you one. Now give me a cup. Does everybody like bananas? Yeah. Wait. Nobody's getting up yet. Huh? Nobody's getting up yet. Wait. One person, wait a minute. Two. Okay, go on. Here's my cup. Does everybody like chocolate? Mm. Yeah. All right, so I'm sure everybody has chocolate in a squeeze tube. It might not look like this. It might have a big Hershey's, uh, Hershey's logo on it, but go ahead and... Uh, Throw a little chocolate on there. You can throw some on. Uh, that a little color to the plate. And I'm going to go ahead and bring these two back. You guys can feel free to walk back and grab some samples. 